You know who did do that? <laughs> Our first guest today in studio, Shaq Walker, NCAA track and field All-American, recent gold medal winner. Gold medal! <laughs> In the yeah. 800 meters at the World University Games, Shaq. First of all, congratulations, man! An amazing performance. Thank you. It was. It just. Yeah, it was a good day. It just played out for me perfect. So that, that's all that happened. It was just a. It just played out. <laughs> it really did. It was. It was windy, and they did all the work. I just have to relax and run. <laughs> oh, windy! Did I love that in track? You do something great. It's like, well, there was. Wind. <laughs> there, was there was wind. You know. That's the ultimate celebration, is it not? Running around with an American flag after you win. Yeah, I. I think I've had dreams of doing that, like real dreams. I don't even ever dream, but I think I've had a dream or two of doing that. And then they gave me the flag, and I, was, I didn't even know what to do with it. I was like, oh, oh, flag, stars on the right shoulder, and then it's going to look bright. And it was it was perfect. It felt good. Yeah. <laughs> so so someone hands you a flag. You don't even know who the person is, right? You're just like, cool, you the flag. <laughs> like, like when someone hands a championship hat to someone? Um, I, it was someone on the staff, but I can't remember who. I was like. I was so I had so much adrenaline I didn't even feel like I raced. I was just like, I finally won something. I can't believe this. And then there's a flag coming in, the wind was blowing in and it hit the ground and I felt bad and it was crazy. Well you've got the medal with you and mm -hmm. we wanna see it. All right, okay. So I'm sorry I didn't bring a gift, first of all. I actually had one planned. I just you have to forgive me. You, you know, are the gift. A, yeah. uh, we have a reason to bring you back on the show. Look at this. Yeah, that's true. Wow. That's that's Look the reason. At so this is that gold medal. That's the medal. It's uh yeah, it's 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 really nice. It's probably the nicest thing I own, actually. <laughs> <laughs> We're gonna screenshot this and send it out to our Twitter followers as well for so our I radio listeners. Yeah, and the box is even nice. Like that's how I knew it was gonna be a nice metal when I saw the box. Yeah, when the box is good, you know you're in for some good. Yeah, I was like, Ooh. may I hold it? Yeah, yeah. It's got some it, writing sure. on it. it. Says Gwangju 2015. Gwangju, South Korea is where the World University Games were. Uh, on the Spen back of the medal, Spencer says went on his mission to South Korea yeah, so he can up translate all this. Yeah, we have very we have a lot to talk about your trip to South Korea. I know, Korea. like I I learned a couple right. words. I learned how to say hello, Ange Yeah, hey, not bad. Ange oh. and then come sami da. Come sami da. Thank you. Jeremy knows that, right? Yeah, come sami da. Kanji go wa. Kung hanguk ma. That's all I know. That is really nice. I learned to bring it, and so we we ate sushi, Korean sushi in Vegas in March, and I said to the waiter, I said, Kanji wa. Which but is like, like super <laughs> informal, <laughs> low form, like, hey, bring it. Bring it now. <laughs> She's please. probably like, uh. They laughed at Jerem. They laughed in his face. Oh, they yeah. Yeah. They didn't Luckily, they didn't get mad. <laughs> so when did you first get the invitation to participate in the university games? Um, so I was invited back in March. It was um, at the NCAA, the indoor NCAA championship. I think Coach Isone and I, we were, ex we were expecting to do a lot better. Obviously, back then, I finished 10th, I think, indoors. Um, and so we were expecting to be top three and maybe even the first American. And so um, I think he ended up talking with the coach who was putting it together, who was from UCLA. And he was like, you know, this Shaq kid, he's going to be, you know, one of the best Americans. And he's like, okay, well, yeah, there's these games. Does he want to come? And then I ended up doing awful. And I was just like, he already invited me. He can't say no now. <laughs> <laughs> but luckily, it worked out later in the season. Well, he's happy that he invited you for sure. Goodness, so. you're carrying a gold medal right now. Shaq Walker with us on BYU Sports Nation in Studio B. Coming back from South Korea, uh, it's a 15-hour time difference, I believe, from the Mountain 16. Time Zone where you're 16-hour yeah. time difference. <laughs> How are you adjusting back after spending a good deal of time there? Um, so I got back not yesterday but the day before, and I already feel – like normal, I think. Maybe not. I was I was wide awake at 2 a.m. last night. I was okay, just probably like, not normal. <laughs> I was like super bored. I just started doing random things. Like it's just it's just, it's just so bored. But yeah, I think uh, I feel normal during the day. It was it was hard going there, like because you have to go and they're like, okay, we have practice now. And you're like, I just got here last night. I just want to sleep. But yeah. yeah, it was. Yeah, I'm okay now. I'm done running, so I have a lot more energy than usual. Tell us some of the fun experiences you had uh, representing not only BYU, but uh, the Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints, the United States, all yeah. of that. I think uh, it was just a funny trip. There's so many great – I mean, between – South Koreans just love Americans. I think I was telling you about that. They just – they love – they were just like, picture, picture, picture. I was like, oh, yeah. <laughs> they make you feel good about yourself. Um, another super fun experience, we, we had the opportunity to go to a Korean sacrament meeting out there. Um, and so, well, we were there for two Sundays, so we went, we went twice. Um, but there was this, this lady that we walked in and I think they announced, I guess there was like a translator telling us, he's, they were like, we have some visitor from America and everyone in the church was just like, they just turned back. A couple people stood up like, 
took a picture of us <laughs> in the middle of the I was like, oh, this is, this is super funny. I'm going to do and that then, this Sunday. It was so funny. And then a lady, she gets our name, and surely enough, she shows up at the track. She doesn't speak any English, but she just has our names written on a piece of paper in big letters, and she just holding it up and just held it up <laughs> and it was i mean it was just super funny and super cool there's there were a couple of really good experiences there though fantastic shaq walker gold medal winner in the 800 meters at the world university games when did you know during that race i'm gonna win um this this probably sounds i don't know usually i get a feeling pretty early in a race if i'm gonna win um i don't know if it's like a confidence issue or what but I wouldn't call that an issue. <laughs> <laughs> or like maybe it comes down to confidence. But I think 250 meters into the race, I knew I was going to win. Because the, the guy, it was, there were 30 mile per hour wins, which is why the time was, wow. was slow. Um, if you watch the, the video, my jersey is like blowing off of me before. Um, but yeah, it was extremely windy. And the guy who had the fastest time coming in, he was from South Africa. Um, he's going to be representing them in the world championships. He just led it. Um, he didn't lead it extremely fast. It was 54 seconds. And because I was behind him, he was blocking the win. It felt like 54 to me, but it probably felt like 51 to him. And so right away I was like, oh, like I never thought this would happen because I thought I was going to have to do all the work. And I was like, I'm going to win now. I'm going to feel great. I'm going to feel great. And I think that's where that burst came from at the end. Describe the feeling when you cross the finish line and you realize <coughs> I just, I just won this thing and I'm in South Korea <laughs> and this is awesome. <laughs> So I, uh, I think I told you before, I made a promise to myself. I was like, I'll never celebrate after a race. I just think it looks bad for some reason. Like, it's not me. It's not my personality. I was so excited. I couldn't help. I didn't even mean to. Our arms just went up. And I finished. I was like, oh, no. Like, that's, <laughs> I've only ever done that once. And that was when the 4x4 four four broke the school record, and we ran 303. So I was just, I mean, it was an, an amazing feeling. I think especially it's okay. I think I, it's okay for you <laughs> to celebrate for pinnacle moments. Yeah, why, why don't you want to celebrate? <laughs> I don't know. Like, when I imagine in my head, like, I guess maybe one of the reasons when I lose and people celebrate, I hate it. I'm like, <laughs> okay. they're just celebrating and I'm sitting here lost. Just lost it. I'm happy for them, but at the same time, I'm like, I wish they wouldn't celebrate so much. <laughs> and so, I don't know. I just, I just felt like it wasn't me, but I couldn't help it. I was super happy. <laughs> it was a miracle. <laughs> now, now, you've been off your mission how long? Almost a year. Like, two weeks is my year mark. Almost a year. Okay. So you set the school record. Uh, you do pretty good. You take, what, fifth in the 800? You're an All-American. Mm -hmm. You're an All-American, and you just won the World University Games. This is, you've been off your mission a year. You aren't peaking right now, are you? You can do better, <laughs> right? That's I, pretty good. <laughs> I, I mean, I'm really excited for this next year. I, I've, I sat down with Coach Eyestone yesterday, and we're just shooting for the stars now. Like, I mean, things are, like, even though this, you know, this race was really big, this – World University Games, but even before that, I feel like um, I was at the USA Championships after NCAA's, and I finished sixth place, which is, I mean, it's cool to win World University Games, but I never, you know, I never looked at myself as one of the best in America, and so to finish sixth place amongst um, several Olympians in that race, and uh, several Olympians in the field, um, that race is the Olympic trials next year, and so if I can make that, if I do the same thing, sorry, the same thing next year that I did this year, then I should be, you know, I should have a really good shot to, to make the team, especially if I think I just focus on getting stronger and um, a, a bigger aerobic base and just being healthy until next year and being patient with it. I, I hope there's more good to come. I, I feel like there could be. <laughs> Did you in your wildest coming off of your mission <laughs> think that you could legitimately run for Team USA in the 2016 Summer Olympics? I mean, think about um, that. Did you really think that you could do that? Maybe you did. No, no, no. I didn't think it was realistic, but, like, I'm, I'm one of those people that just likes to set crazy goals, even though I most of the time don't even know if I believe I'll actually <laughs> it'll happen. So it was, like, one of those where I wouldn't tell anyone. Like, I would never say, yeah, I want to run in the 2016 Olympics. But if someone would ask, do you want to run in the Olympics one day? I'd be like, that's the dream. Yeah, yeah, that's the dream. But, I mean, it's – how much it's, of a dream is it now, though? I mean, look what you've done over the past. This is coming closer down, and closer to a reality. You write it down. Yeah. It's a goal. I did. I, that's what I was saying. I wrote it and I'm stuck. I like writing and posting things all over my wall, all, all over my room. And so it worked this year. So I, I was, I'm in the process of doing that for next year's goals. But, I mean, as much as how much of a dream is it, it's, it still sounds like a dream. Like if someone tells me. Uh, take sixth place at USA, a year home from a mission, fifth in NCAAs, and then win World University Games when you're just, like, really tired. 
that still sounds like a dream. Like, <laughs> I guess it's reality now, but it still sounds like a dream, you know? And so it's, it's still the dream. <laughs> um, it just seems like it can happen now. And so I just have to just stay focused and just keep doing what I've been doing, I think. So how, in the 800 meters specifically, I assume that's the event that you would try to make. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> uh, what, how many qualify? Um, if you took sixth, how many? Oh, how many qualify to the championship? So in all of them, Sorry, to the Olympic team. Oh, three. Three. Yeah. So you would need to be in the top three next year. Yeah. So I would need to be two spots better. I would need to be three spots better. Yeah. Six, fourth, fifth, fifth, eighth. Yeah. Six, so three spots better. So it's one race mm -hmm. and you need to be in the top three in that yeah. race. Yep. So I, I just need to get to the exact same stage next year that I was in three weeks ago and then finish three spots higher. And so it's what, so What's the difference close. in six, six yeah, What kind third. of a time difference are we talking about? Um, from what I ran in that race, I would have needed to be 1.3 seconds faster. Um, there was, I, I'm not the guy and a guy who likes to make excuses. I, I kind of tripped up at the end. Um, well, was, was tripped up at the end. Um, and Controversy! So, <laughs> no, I don't want to call out Ryan Martin. But <laughs> <laughs> He's a, he's a great guy. We love him. You don't want to call a, him out, but you just did. He's a great runner. No, I'm just kidding. But uh, I think I, w I think I would have been like a half a second off, half a second off the the team. Um, even if I ran the day, the time that I ran the day before, I would have been 0.2 seconds off the team. And so next year it'll probably take faster because it's an Olympic year. But I plan on running. I, next year I don't want to be like, okay, if I run my best time that I've run so far, I'll make the team. I want to be like. If I run a second slower than I've run so far, I'll still make the team. So just have a little more breathing room. And so that's that's the goal next year, to be really fit, ready to run extremely fast, and then show up for the for the trials. That would be amazing because we anticipate that uh, Taylor Sander will be on Team USA yeah. with volleyball. Everyone if, knew him if, at the World University Games, by the way. Really? Yeah, volleyball guys get in the elevator. You're from BYU, you know Taylor Sander? Yeah, yeah, I know him. <laughs> well, I, I know him. Because I think a lot, a lot of those guys were Stanford and Irvine. Mm -hmm. and, yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. And so. they didn't do as well as you did over there, uh, but <laughs> unfortunately. I was hoping <laughs> Team USA would do better. Oh, they didn't no. have any BYU guys, so. Hey, well, BYU, we yeah. needed it. You know? Shaq Walker with us in Studio <laughs> B. Uh, we cannot let you go before we ask, how has your testimony of the BYU Sports Nation karma grown? Oh. Over the past year. You know what? Oh, I'm, boy. I'm not kidding. It's, I was thinking about this after nationals. I was like, okay, well, I need to, I need to just get in. I need to get in the sports nation. Did they get me in there? <laughs> <laughs> like, it's weird. Every time after a race, I'm like, and then they're like, you know, BYU Sports Nation. Like, they, 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 you can go on there and you can talk to the guys. I'm like, whoa, they said they were going to have me back. And I ran well. Every time you say I'm going to have you back, it goes well. So, everyone... Mm. These two, they're prophetic. They say something is going to happen. <laughs> it's the show. Oh, it's the show. The yeah. show, it's good luck. It's good luck show. It really That's is. what we call it. It helps that you're an amazing athlete. That too. Well, yeah. that, that always helps. We don't, we don't, don't, know, we don't invite <laughs> bad athletes onto the show for a good reason. Shaq, always great to talk to you. Congratulations you. again on the gold medal. And yeah, uh, awesome. don't forget your Twitter password because you're, you're starting to gain some more traction there. Oh, I, I'm starting to like Twitter. I can't believe I didn't even have one. Like, is, is your, Welcome you to 2015, it's, dude. It's like the real world. <laughs> <laughs> He's got a gold in his hands. He has solidified his eliteness within BYU track and field. Shaq Walker.